it can be um, enormous fun being a writer and it can be really challenging sometimes when you've got writer's block or when you've written things and it's you know, you're not sure um, who to send them to or if other people will like them. Um, but this, there's no other way. My best advice, um, the simplest, most basic advice I have for people who are writers is that if you want to be published and you, know, you don't have to be, it's, it's absolutely fine just to write for your own pleasure, to write fan fiction for your community, things like that. But if you want to be a published writer, um, the four basic steps, the most simple steps that you need to do is you need to start writing, you need to finish what you started writing, you need to edit what you've completed so that you can polish it and make it as good as you know how to, how to make it. And then the fourth really vital step is that you need to send it to someone. So you need to submit. Um, it can be difficult, I know. You have to look up different publishers and you know, find out who's taking submissions at the moment. But a good way to get um, through that is to start slightly smaller as well, is that you can have a look and see who is calling out for short stories for anthologies. Um, a lot of people get their start that way and they get their names known to a publisher. So if you write a short story that blows them away and they want for their anthology, possibly that's a short story that is part of a a, a bigger world that you've built, a novel, uh, you know, a, a whole book that you've written. So potentially that's uh, one way to get in. It, you know, don't assume that that's going to be the way in, but you start getting, you know, you can, can get your name out there. So have a look to see what short story competitions are out there, what anthologies are looking for work, um, and then start your story, finish your story, polish your story, and submit your story. Um, the corollary to that, the last thing is always, whenever you're submitting a story, whatever the genre, whatever type of thing you're writing, always have a look at the publisher's submission guidelines. It's no good sending them, uh, you know, a, a, a mon monster killing story if what they're wanting is gentle romance. You need to look at the submission guidelines, make sure you meet and you're giving them what they're asking for because nobody likes being rejected. But as someone who's been an editor, nobody likes rejecting your stories either. What we want is stories that fit what we need and that gets them the first best chance of at least getting read before the next steps may happen. And don't be discouraged if sometimes it takes a while. You know, a, a recent anthology being published by a, an editor that I know, um, she can only publish between um, 13, maybe up to 20 stories in one book, depending on the length of the story. She had 550 something submissions. So there's a lot to get through, but if you make sure you do your best work that you know how, that you've met the submission guidelines and you actually send it in, you at least have a really good chance that your story will be read. Uh, and that, of course, is a, you know, the next step beyond that is hopefully acceptance.